Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking a look at making a overpowered bow build. I got recommended to make this a week ago, so I decided to try it out and optimize. Now this is just going to be a standard bow build. I'm going to do great bows as of their own separate thing at a later time. Now the bows are really interesting. They don't have very good scaling whatsoever. They don't have good damage. And the range that they have does not make up for that. Fortunately, there is a bow, two bows rather, that stand outside of the rest. And that would be the Serpent Bow and the Black Bow. The Black Bow is a bow that has the Light Bow moveset, however it has the standard bow damage, which makes it very good. The Serpent Bow is a unique bow and a unique weapon just as far as scaling goes. It is a bow that scales with Dexterity, Strength, and Arcane. However, the Arcane does not affect the damage of the weapon, it only affects the Poison buildup. And as far as Auxiliary buildup goes, it soft caps at 40. If you remember, most soft caps are 45 for status. So having it at 40 is kind of interesting and it's the only case of the weapon stopping at 40. Because of its inherent Poison buildup, it pairs very well with the Serpent Arrows because it does have good arcane scaling for a bow and with the additional poison buildup you can proc poison quite fast. Now I said that the Serpent Bow only scales on Strength and Dexterity and Arcane and if the Arcane doesn't affect the physical damage, well that means the Strength and Dexterity affect the physical damage. Really all you need for the Serpent Bow to be viable is for the Arcane, assuming you're going to focus on the auxiliary effects. For the arrows, the St. Trina arrows, the sleep arrows, the poison arrows, and the serpent arrows are probably the best bet. You can also go with just regular arrows, which I did after I cracked poison. I would go with a standard arrow just to get some more damage out on the field. For my build, I have 60 vigor, as that's the vigor soft cap, 12 endurance just to wear everything I can without fat rolling. 48 strength boosted to 58 with the strength on crystal tier. Even though the soft cap is 60, there's no points that can be allocated from elsewhere into it. For dexterity, we have 45 dexterity boosted to 60 with the Milson's prosthesis and the dexterity not crystal tier. And then of course we have 40 arcane, which is the staple of this build. For the armor, we have mushroom crown, the fingerprint armor altered, the Guts and Noble Gauntlets and the Fingerprint Greaves to give us a poise of 51, which is the PvE poise breakpoint. For Talismans, we have the Arrow Sting Talisman to increase our bow damage. The Kindred Rot's Equitation to boost our damage when poison is procced. The Shard of Alexander for the weapon art, the few times we use it. And then Millicent's Prosthesis to, as I said, boost our dexterity. For the Great Rune, we have Radon's Great Rune to boost our HP, FP, and Stamina. And for the Crystal Tears, we have the Strength Not Crystal Tier and Dexterity Not Crystal Tier to boost our Strength and Dexterity even further. 